Let's create a, a WBS work breakdown structure. So first we need to open the project, right click, open project. And you can go here and click details. So this is the default Promovera layout for activities. And to create a WBS, you go to this icon, WBS. And for our schedule, let's have we have the substructure and we have also superstructure, which is a concrete work, then finishes. So let's create one by one. We can go to here at the right. We can click add. You can also click insert from the keyboard if you want. Our first level is we can have um, the maybe key milestones for the project can click and you have also another level but at the same level of the key milestones so we can have the engineering work i will click insert from the keyboard to add another level move left construction work And this is just an example. So under the construction work, we can have substructure and superstructure as well. So we we this is the right level now. So under construction work, I have sub level, which is the substructure. I want to have another level also for superstructure. So I go to construction work, click add. Super structure. So they are both the same level. So if I click on substructure and I click the add, the superstructure will be added another sub level under substructure. But they should be both here at the same level. So I wanna create finishes. So I will click on superstructure and click add. I click finishes but they should be the same level so I have to do extra step to move left so they are all at the same level right now for superstructure I have also maybe first floor and second floor I click insert so first floor and also second floor I did not create any activities yet, so I can copy and paste the WBS without copying activities. If you wanna copy WBS, I wanna have four finishes, first floor and second floor as well. So I I press control on the keyboard and I click on second floor as well. Right click, copy, go on finishes, right click and paste. So I, I will, you know, check everything. I do not have any information here. I did not add activities as well. So that's why activities is not shown here. But if I have activities for this specific WBS, when I copy it, I will have the option. Do you want to copy the activities or without the activities? I do not have activities. So instead of creating everything all over again, especially when you are creating larger projects, you want to have more shortcuts to make your process faster i click ok and this is a plus sign so when i click on it it will be shown here i can collapse for example i want to collapse at this level or on on project level so this is the option also of collapsing if you have also a lot of data you can have right click you can click collapse all then you go one by one again to check where you wanna um, like review anything or work with any specific WBS element. You can also collapse to a specific level. So collapse to, I have level one or two. Let's have level, so I have four levels of WBS. I wanna collapse to level two. So this is how it will look like. So this is the first level and this is a second level. 
you can also delete any specific element right click delete or you can go here for this option the x option to delete wbs you can also hear most of the options here are related to the project but on wbs level we have also the wbs wbs and docs you want to assign for example let's create wbs first you go to project and choose wbs and docs so you can create here wbs and docs and it will open here a new tab you can create for example a variation order from the employer you can create any documentations related to this wbs you can create a new wbs from here and you have all options for example the file location is it private on your computer or is it public location on share folder for example or a link from the internet so you have all the options here to create a document so anyone can go to wbs and see all assigned documents and he can review them you can go back to the wbs we were dealing with here or you can go anytime by clicking on this icon wbs this is for the earned value calculation so we will come back to that later when we explain the earned value and you have also here the gantt chart we do not have any activities here you can see from the columns total activity is zero but when we have more activities with more duration the overall or the summary of the wbs duration start and finish will appear here but right now we do not have any activities you can also customize the columns you want to show right click columns and click customize you can choose from all the menu what do you want to see duration dates earned value cost you can also have different presentation instead of hierarchy you can have a short view to print it right away and submit it to the consultant or for the team review you can go to layout show on top you can have the chart view and this is a chart view here you can also zoom in and zoom out and zoom to fit so we can zoom in here and i want to click to review this specific element and after i finish i right click zoom to best fit you can go back to your uh, you can also arrange the children as we did for the aps and the ops you can maybe have this node for example we explained it before in a vertical way Okay, and uh, you can also align it children and it gives you a hint how it will look like after you do it. So this is the center by default. And also you can customize the colors and all these formatting options. So this is for the WBS creation and some of the features inside the WBS. We will go in the next lesson. We will start creating our first activity.